Hello everybody, I hope you are all doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to start by going through the Bitcoin charts here and then moving on to the breaking news which is Binance is essentially throwing out US customers from their website and what this means for altcoins in the short and mid term. That is, you know, pretty big breaking news and I'm going to be covering that for you. Um, but I do want to firstly start with Bitcoin here. Okay, so I want to start with Bitcoin, what this is doing to Bitcoin right now, okay? So let's, let's go straight into this chart, okay? I mean, what we have to view here, okay? We've obviously been reviewing this for the last few days, obviously trading the nice ranges. The, the, honestly, the, the trades here have been absolutely perfect, okay? It's really not been difficult to trade, but the psychology right now are up behind the market is, is very fascinating to me, okay? What we have obviously seen, was we had that kind of sort of ascending triangle where we're obviously forming a hard resistance on the 382 fib okay from swing high to swing low that 382 dead cat bounce level was acting as resistance but we were forming our low higher low higher low higher low higher low okay and you can only have a certain amount of people that can defend the 382 eventually sell is exhaust and you push up through the level okay so that was very very nice to see and consolidation you know just below that resistance you were you know the probabilities were of breaking up there and as you know we got that very nicely you you break up where do you break up to that weekly resistance 8219 okay so we touched that weekly resistance come back down and rejected and then held that resistance that flipped into support for another wave upwards okay so i must say okay i'm not gonna lie this is a bullish market structure okay with our higher highs and higher lows now on the four hour chart okay very nice okay all i am going to tell you is that we are forming this rising wedge structure and generally this rising wedge is bearish okay coming up to the 618 and this for me this golden pocket is a resistance which is never can never be underestimated okay and when you form a rising wedge coming onto the golden pocket well um, you just have to be hedging or taking care with long positions coming into this resistance okay um you cannot just imagine smashing straight through that okay would be extremely unlikely okay so all i'm saying is the market structure is bullish but you are coming on to a very big resistance right now okay so this is just a time personally where i will when i will be hedging myself in my positions and my trades okay but uh, overall, yeah, the, I just want to end on the last word of, of Bitcoin before I move on to that breaking news is that this is bullish market structure, higher highs, higher lows. OK, you do want to keep on, you know, in a, in a critical sort of view, those higher lows right now. OK, and really we can start trading. So obviously we were in, within this range. And then we broke up, went to this range, and now we've broken up into this range. Well, you're looking at clearly the resistance of that golden pocket, okay? And now support 8,219 weekly, but really that 382 is your key support level where we can now create a new range in here, okay? And then obviously the break is going to be telling what comes over the to, to go leading up into the weekly close, which I do believe is going to be very important this weekend. Um, so that has given me everything i've given everything that i need to say here on bitcoin quite briefly there but obviously you've got your you know if we get through that golden pocket you're looking up next at 9250 for that monthly resistance point okay but that golden pocket 786 important resistances and obviously the 382 2009 well the weekly support very important supports where we could end up ranging in here before we get an overall break okay so that's what I'm eyeing here and uh, trading off of as we move on to the altcoins, which I need to review. This is obviously breaking news, really, really massive. And you can see the, the, the fear and the panic that has gone through the altcoin market. 10% down, 10% down, 10% down, 11% down. Absolutely massive, massive moves to the downside. Okay, what is fueling this it is obviously the breaking news that... Binance have changed their terms of services to throw out essentially the US customers. Okay, so they will no longer be able to trade or deposit on Binance.com after 90 days. Okay, so this is a key date. Okay, I'm now just going to give a bit of news that I have heard. Okay, uh, I'm not a financial advisor, so just keep that in mind. But I've heard, okay, from pretty good sources that Binance are actually going to be having a US exchange. So they're making a secondary exchange that will not run off Binance.com, but they're going to be running off of, say, a sub domain. So let's say Binance.je. So they're, they're not going to be allowing US customers to use Binance.com because of the margin trading. Okay, so this is the reason Binance is introducing margin trading. In the US, they have very strict rules under their SEC, um, you know, about where their, their citizens can and cannot trade. Okay, and with Binance being... Uh, that say 
mm, not properly regulated. Uh, some dodgy stuff that goes on on this exchange sometimes. Um, obviously, yeah, I would imagine that they have not liked this and have said, no, we are not allowing our citizens to trade on Binance. So Binance have obviously had to act and um, essentially say, you know, unfortunately, we're going to have to not allow US customers to trade on our exchange anymore. OK, which obviously no doubt about it, would cause a lot of fear. Okay, people obviously need to sell off and withdraw their coins slash Bitcoin to another exchange. Okay, but I do not think it's the end of the world if what I believe is true is to turn out to be truthful. And um, Binance is actually going to have a sub exchange, a subdomain, a sub let out company um, where US customers still will be able to trade. I imagine we're not with margin trading, but we'll still be able to use Binance essentially as it is now. Um, so yeah, that is obviously to come. We will obviously, I'll, I'll give you that news as and when I know more. Um, but yeah, that is pretty breaking news. And obviously with that heavily affecting the altcoin market right here. And um, yeah, I just want to say, I mean, personally, I would not be rushing in straight away to buy these dips okay obviously you're seeing big 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 dips binance is yeah that was a crazy one obviously being bnb coin but you know you're seeing it across the board heavy downwards movements and personally i do believe there's i, I love being a, a market contrarian and do not get me wrong i am ready and waiting to buy these dips on altcoins but but I'm not just going to be buying today right now because there's still enough time for this to settle in. OK, and especially we're, we're still in London, UK time. OK, so uh, the majority of US citizens are now asleep. OK, obviously the, the US market open, you know, stock market, etc., is generally going to be in about one hour's time. So obviously we'll, we will begin now to have the US you know, market waking up, uh, reacting to this news, which could cause another wave down. Okay. So hence why I want to uh, allow this to cool off for um, at least six hours before I start entering some positions here on alts with caution, obviously with caution here, uh, because, you know, being a, a contrarian of the news, uh, you do want to have a relative uh, amount of caution here. Okay. Uh, but I excel. I love, I love buying when everybody is fearful. That for me is I love it, but I am exercising a little bit of caution here because of the news. Um, and I would like to verify um, from my source that it, this is true that they are releasing a second exchange. That would that would uh, ease a lot of worries, I believe. OK, um, so, yeah, that was the main thing that I want to bring you all. I, I, I personally uh, not financial advisor, but I would say you, you do want to exercise caution if you are not a experienced trader in these conditions you know trading against the market you do want to have a little bit of caution okay um yeah just just have a lot that little bit of caution and this is like what you know link 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 is the perfect example here okay so link yesterday up 70 percent okay up 70 percent in a matter of hour okay 70 percent upwards and the amount of fomo that i saw running in at this point was absolutely crazy so much fomo coming into this market okay and i said to my group do not fomo at this point it is going to be retracing okay so i'll read out what i wrote okay so i said if you make money through FOMO, do you really win anyway? Question mark, because you're not sticking to a plan. It promotes bad habits. Do not chase something that's up 70% in an hour because I could see people were wanting to FOMO in this. Um, and I was just like, please do not FOMO by link. It's up 70% in one hour. It's going to be retracing. And obviously, um, you know, you had that second push up. And from there, you're down 20% in the matter of, you know, half a day. So this just really proves FOMO is never ever a good idea it just promotes bad habits do not get into that bad habit in trading you are gonna lose money 100% 100% if you are that emotional in trading you will lose money in the long run okay um so yeah I just wanted to read that out because not that I was just because I was great but just because FOMOing even if it had another leg up is not a good idea in trading it really promotes very bad habits and you will lose money in the medium term okay um so yeah that is everything that i wanted to cover in this video um you can see some altcoins holding up better than others <laughs> in particular litecoin right there but uh, overall yeah the, the altcoin market is getting affected uh really keeping my eye on bitcoin as you know potentially we could see this extra leg up as people sell out their alts into bitcoin hence getting some buying pressure in here um so yeah that, that's another interesting metric to keep an eye on and uh yeah i personally love this as you all know i never ever make videos at this time of day normally i'm just heavily trading um uh, you know we're 2 2 p.m here in england and normally this is like my heavily heavily trading time and i never do videos at this time of the day but uh, because of the breaking news i wanted to take 10 
10 minutes out to make this for you all. So I really hope that you appreciate this video in my generally my um, trading hours. Um, so yeah, hope that you enjoyed that. And uh, please give me a like to show that appreciation or a comment down below of what you will be looking out for with this news. Do you believe that there is going to be a, a do you, are you looking at this as an opportunity to get in some good altcoin positions or are you at the other end of that and thinking this is bad this is going down okay very interested to know what you think obviously you have the people looking at this as a good opportunity to buy or people that are just thinking wow it's it's going to go down um you know that's why i love love trading with that psychology it's it's for me fascinating you know as you all know that this really isn't a kind of a job it's just a hobby i absolutely love trading and this for me is just like my time to shine i love it i love it i love it um so yeah that's what i wanted to end with there i just want to end with those final words um yeah keep your eye on these charts and um yeah leave a comment down below of what you think very interested to see i will be getting back to you all um yeah i'm actually going to go back and trade this now extremely volatile love it uh, have a brilliant day and um yeah i'll see you all around in the next video cheers everybody thank you bye